friends, I am Afan Tikshi Yadav with a new topic to discuss with you that is the mission of Chandrayaan 1 and Chandrayaan 2. We all know that in the world there has been a great race among the countries to land their rovers, orbiters or satellites on the moon. Why is so? It is so because all the countries want to want their people to set foot on the moon and live there as we live on the earth. And for this and for to complete their, this mission to land people on the moon, many countries have sent their rover, rovers, satellites and many more things on the moon to discover about the moon and check whether it has water, atmosphere and correct land for human living, living or not. I have a quotation that is, some countries have moons on their flags. Some countries have moons on their flags, but our country India has its flag on the moon. Has its flag on the moon. It means that some countries have their rovers or their flags on the moon, that they have sent their rovers or people to the moon, while some countries show the moon in their flags. Now, what is Chandrayaan 2? The mission Chandrayaan 2. Chandrayaan 2 was a mission after Chandrayaan 1's launching. This mission was used to ask and search about the water presence on the South Pole. India has become the fourth country to make a rover or a satellite to land, make it land on the moon. The first country was USA, then Russia, then China and now we added the fourth member that is India. India sent its Chandrayaan 2 yesterday on 22nd July 2019 at the time of 2.43 p.m. Yes, it was sent using the launcher GSLV Mark 3 M1 that, that is also given the name Indian Bahubali. It is the latest and heaviest launcher ever made by ISRO, the Indian, Search, Indian Space Research Organization. And the rocket used for this was the third stage rocket that was used due to its versatility and reliability. The rocket weighed 8,000 kgs and the weight of Chandrayaan 2 itself was 3,850 kgs. It took 978 crore to ISRO in making Chandrayaan 2 and the rocket. At the time, 243 everyone was very excited even the scientists the people of india and now we feel very proud that we have launched the mission chandrayaan 2 on the moon now let us discuss some main events that happened and the main differences between chandrayaan 1 and chandrayaan 2 chandrayaan 1 was launched in the year 2008 while chandrayaan 2 is launched in the year 2019 Chandrayaan 1 costs up costed approximately 360 crore to ISRO while while Chandrayaan 2 costs 978 crore to ISRO. It took this much money to make it. Chandrayaan 1 was only an orbiter and Chandrayaan 2 has an orbiter, a lander as well as a rover. The lander is named Vikram, while the rover is named Pragya. Now, what about their time periods? Chandrayaan 1, being, or orbit, being an orbiter, orbited in the orbit of the moon, uh, in the, around the moon in an orbit, and it went there and stayed there for 312 days till 2009. Yes. It's, it was launched in 2008 and stayed there for two th till 2009. While our Chandrayaan 2's orbiter will remain there for 365 days or simply one year, while the rover and the lander will stay there for one year. It is and one lunar day and one lunar day is equal to 14 Earth days. The program rover will be will be able to move only 500 500 meters from its landing point. 
the orbiter will be set free before the landing in the orbit so as to find the correct place at the south pole of the moon for a right landing. It wants to have a soft landing. Now what were the mission, main missions? The Chandrayaan 1's missions were it carried many instruments and to find uh, anything special and enrich our knowledge. While the mission of Chandrayaan 2 is soft landing, finding the presence of water, lunar topography, and mineral logic. There is no country yet that has landed its rover, satellite, or orbiter on the south pole of the moon. India is the first country that will land its Chandrayaan 2 mission, that will land Chandrayaan 2 in the south pole of the moon, where the rover Pragyan will find the presence of water as declared by NASA earlier. Yes, that is true. And there are many different things. The distance between the Earth and the Moon is 384,400 kilometers, that is equal to 30 Earths. It means that we can place 30 Earths between, between the Earth and the Moon. Now, what is the way in which Chandrayaan 2 will reach the Moon? The way is that from day 1 to day 23, the Earth-bound phase will take place. It means that the Chandrayaan 2 will circle the Earth to get out of its gravitational force for 23 days. Then it will be it will start to get to the moon. That will take some days, and after that it will orbit the moon from big size and slowly come to its gravitational part where the moon will pull it, and the orbiter at that time will be set free. And the lander and Kardyan rover will be set different from the orbiter. The orbiter will stay in the orbit for first four days and on the fourth day, the screen will be turned on which and the orbiter will send messages to Earth and the Earth scientists from the Earth will send messages to the orbiter where to land. And the orbiter will send the message to the lander where to land. It will take a long time, a long period and the Chandrayaan 2 will take 48 days to land on the moon. We can say 7th September or 6th September is the date on which we will find Chandrayaan 2 landed on the moon. Pehle ek lori jaru baati thi ma chanda mama dur ki khali pakaya hu. Lekin ab hum keh shan se keh sakenge कि चंदा मामा अब दूर के नहीं चंदा मामा पास के क्योंकि because now चंद्रयान two will send us messages and he will be easily conveyable to them yes that is easy now what about the scientists in this unmanned mission there are also two women as astro scientists these were M Vanita and Ritu Kardal Kardal so, while the, some other ISRO scientists were, the main were Dr. K. Seven, who is the head of ISRO, Dr. S. Somnath, Anil Agarwal, and many more. These were the, some of the main scientists. Now, these are the phases that did. Do you remember the phases that I told you? Yeah, these are the these are important. And if you are preparing for any exam, please remember that these questions can be asked to you. Then at when, when time was it launched? What is its mission? Why is it used? And what method will it do? In what way will it go to the moon? What are its missions? Yeah, India by set, India by launching Chandrayaan 2 in such a less cost. Gives the, gives the other countries a very nice moral. That is, we, India, the other countries use too much, too much rupees or too much currency, their currency to launch such satellites. But India used very less and even in this, it launched Jandra and two successfully. It was to be launched on 15th of July, but due to an error, it was stopped and dated to 22nd July 2019. Yes, 
the Chandrayaan first was launched with the help of PSLV C2. Yes, C2. PSLV, the full form of GSLV is geosynchronous, geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle. And the full form of PSLV is polar satellite launch vehicle. There are many other forms made of PSLV and GSLV by ISRO, but these were the forms that were used in it. Yes, India has become, as I told you, India has become the first country to land its rover, lander, and to make its orbiter on the south pole of the moon. It is very interesting, as you know. So, thank you friends for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, Takshiliyado, like.